the Cameron Highlands by election will see a four cornered fight between returning contender and Manogaran from uh, Pakatan Harapan's DAP, former Orang Asli top cop Ramli Muhammad Noor, as well as two independent candidates, Salihuddin Abdul Talib and Wong Seng Yi. My PPP president, Tan Sri M. Kavias, turned up at the nomination centre but stated that he will not be contesting in this by election. Instead, he voiced his support for Pakatan Harapan. The by-election kicked off in a festive atmosphere as BN party supporters gathered in full force as early as 8am at various parts of Tanah Rata. Pakatan supporters assembled at the Tanah Rata bus terminal and marched towards the nomination centre at SMK Sultan Ahmad Shah. The group was led by their candidate, M. Manogaran, and Pakatan leaders, DAP Secretary General Lim Guan Eng, PKR Deputy President, Datuk Sri Azmin Ali, and Amanah President Mohamad Sabu. Returning officer, Datuk Ishaq Mohamad Napis, announced the four candidates around 10 a.m. Manogaran, who contested against MIC's Datuk C. Sivaraj in GE14, shared his plans to transform Cameron Highlands if he secures the seat. Can we find out what are the short-term, long-term measures? Short-term will be like, uh, immediate measures will be like, you know, the road system, the, tra the traffic jam system is a major issue here. Uh, that one can be, I think, easily uh, overcome. Lah. The long-term will be even to include uh, amendments to the National Land Code, you know, uh, on the TOL uh, licenses, uh, temporary occupation license, which I see is not no more temporary. Lah. 30, 40 years of cultivation doesn't make sense. Maybe we can look at diesel, maybe that will entail amendments to the National Land Code. I want to look at the Town and Country Planning Act also. I want to propose a dam safety commission, the Sultan Abu Bakar Dam and the Thulum Dam. Uh, I want to also propose a dam safety act. Uh, we do not have our country like other countries, you know, we, we must have a dam safety act. I, I want to look at sustainable development also. Uh, but the most important thing is, if I am allowed to be an MP here, I want to endear myself to all races here. Unlike Manogaran, Barisan candidate Ramli didn't really have much to say. Bagilah challenge cakap sikit. Kami nak tahu juga. Cakap bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Undi Barisan Nasional. Kenapa tuan petani tuan? Kenapa pilih BN untuk berhening? Tuan, apa perubahan yang tuan nak bawa? I tak ada tak, tak dapat nak komen sekarang nak ada appointment nanti welcome I'll come back no you don't know. very soon very soon as for the other candidates Wong is a farmer and he wants to boost Cameron Highlands agriculture tourism and labor force in the farming industry we have to bring everything together we have to have a good positive plan this plan is a sustainable plan for Cameron Highlands uh, for the tourists when they come in also want to have to see the culture and well preserved natural resources and farming and ecotourism as well as the Salihuddin, a former lecturer at Institute Aminuddin Baki, wants to use his knowledge as an educator to bring change in Cameron Highlands. Setiap orang ada kekuatan dia. Bagi saya, saya akan berjuangkan walaupun saya seorang diri. But, nampak saya bebas. Kita tak dapat isu. Akan gunakan kemahiran, kekuatan, kemampuan yang kita ada untuk kita menjelaskan kepada rakyat bahawa apa yang kita mampu untuk laksanakan kepada rakyat. I got my own strategy. I got my own. My background is education. The Cameron Highlands by election is being held after the election court nullified the victory of MIC Youth Chief Datuk Sisi Varaj in May 9th general election due to corrupt practices.